during this st stream. Here we go. Going to go into the draft. These coordinated profile pictures. I actually want to check out what this is. Is that Tabasco to us? Ah, yes, it's Dragon Dyer Man. Tabasco. Alright, first ban from State College. Radiant We're going to see ban. an OD getting banned out. Very strong mid, of course. Sapin and Intelligence. I don't <gasps> really know why they'd be banning this unless they're going for an Intelligence Dyer's mid, ban. which they might be. Or they just don't want to deal it with OD. It's really strong. And Bristleback from Taxos. Bristleback Radiant's also ban. really strong and really annoying to deal with. So yeah, just, you know, first bans. A Texas is known for having quite a lot of trouble with Thrissleback. I know this because I play with them all the time. And yeah. And uh, Lifestealer also getting banned out. Very strong Ten hero as well. To go. With his feast being able to just sap on uh, any tank he carries. And we're going to see a Death Prophet. Another hero Dyer's Texas has, uh, has troubles with. So yeah. This very good bans coming out from them. Uh, and let's see what State College is going to want to first pick here, as I have never seen them play, so I can't really predict anything. I'm predicting they're from Taxos, either a Venge or a Lich as one of their first picks coming out. We're going to see a Gyrocopter from State College. Very Radiant interesting pick. first pick. You normally don't see Gyrocopter until later in the draft due to, due to the Maiden. fact that he is very easily countered. Radiant and uh, Crystal pick. Maiden's going to be the pickup for Taxos. Not what I predicted as the Lich or the Venge, but we may still see those coming out. Gyrocopter, I don't know, I don't know, Texas sometimes has problems with Gyrocopter, let's see how they do in this game. I'm fairly sure they should be fine, uh, worst comes to us, this is like, they can deal with them. Crystal Maiden already very strong against Gyrocopter with Frostbite just generally being good against carries. Gyrocopter has no Five form of seconds. escape that goes through Frostbite. Apparently the audio is too loud, so let me just fix that. There we go. That should be much better. We're gonna see a Marana from Taxos looking to do a Marana Crystal Maiden lane maybe. To get that uh, sweet frostbite then arrow set up. Gonna do a lot of damage, pretty much a guaranteed kill on anyone who they happen to be facing. I'm predicting this to be Ten in the off lane. This sign up, this uh to be very strong, Murano of course having the escape. Yeah, or we might see an aggressive try laning coming up, try lane coming up, but I doubt that would happen. Let's we'll see what a state college wants to pick up. Here. thinking to go well with a the gyrocopter they're going to get a support with a stun unless this does end up being a gyrocopter support I know some, that's something that teams will occasionally run although it hasn't been very popular as of late uh, due to the fact that gyrocopter just isn't really the best support hero he's got this super strong nuke but it, and he hasn't got a very reliable stun and yes as I said we're going to see a support who has a stun coming out Shadow Shaman of course with Shackles that is Shackles and Rocket Barrage with no creeps around, man. guaranteed kill. Shackles with like any hero who requires people to stand still is guaranteed kill. And of course the the uh, team fight and tower pushing ability of Serpent Ward. The words, and the nuke and the hex all making for very strong defensive and offensive pick, uh, to go. supporting from the Shadow Shaman. I'm going to see a bounty banned out from Texos. Just don't want to have to deal with the money making uh, hero reckon hero that is Bounty Hunter, and Visage banned out from State College, which is unfortunate for them because Taxos does not actually have a Visage player, and they don't know that. This is something go. that I actually, pref why I prefer the high school league over a lot of other tournaments Five is the fact seconds. that these teams literally have no idea what each other like to play. Like, they can check the, the Dota buff accounts, Reserve but other time. than that, no idea. And it appears that Wrongbips has disconnected, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Radiance ban. Uh, and we're also going to see a uh, TA ban out. TA is another very strong mid in a sense that uh, she can just dominate her lane, deal out a ton.
ton of DPS in the mid game. Incredibly strong. Kind of falls off late, and also the fact that they have this damage over time, uh, time means that she wouldn't really be able to do much with refraction anyway. So I don't really get this ban unless they're going for a mid that's got particularly low base armor that TA can just melt through and get a kill. We'll see. We'll see what they want to pick up for a mid here. Maybe th that might even be a gyrocopter mid, or stu it still could, could be a gyrocopter support uh, from State College. Let's see what Taxos wants to ban out. Response to this, they are. Uh, the thing about this is, um, both of these heroes could mid or support, and then this one could also hard carry. So. They've really left themselves open to like reliable stuff. We're gonna see a clockwork man. Just pick. very solid, very good offlane hero. Neither of these heroes could offlane, so that's a good call by them that like, oh they need an offlaner, we'll ban clockwork. Yeah. We're gonna see Chen. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Wrong Bips gonna be the Chen player for Taxos. He is really good on the Chen. Really good on the micro heroes, like one of the best Meepo players I've played Dota with. Just generally all around good at Meepo. I mean <laughs> Micro, Michael Seals. Yeah, Chen with the ability to do Hand of God, being able to save people from a gank. Also, Penitence going into the late game, Radiant and test of, both tests of faith, faith being really good. And I guess that might still be a support gyrocopter if the Shadow Shaman is going to be run mid, and we're going to see a Venomancer with a, another very strong support, who actually I have not seen picked up that much as of late. The unfortunate thing about him was, uh, is the fact that, like, this doesn't do any damage on level 1. Ten seconds and to go. And that just does... Actually, I don't know if they... Yeah. No, this was Five a change, seconds. and for some reason this put him into competitive, all of these abilities. And how they got buffed, mainly the Poison Reserve Sing and time. Plague Wards, but still hasn't been picked up that much lately. He's very squishy, very, like, weak to early uh, attempts at a gank. Very easy to kill. Uh, his ult doesn't really become relevant until he has some mana, and even then it's not too sh not too good. I actually, Venomats is my second most played hero, and I have to say, really, I don't think he's as strong as everyone hypes him up to be. He was strong for a while, but eventually, as with all heroes, people figure out how to play against them, and so he just sort of dropped off, and I have not played a game with him in quite a while, he's simply not very strong. GG Valve, not listed as carry, but has carry item build. We're gonna see what Taxos wants to pick up in response to this. This Venomancer pick. Probably a... Oh, a tiny! That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting some form of like... Oh, actually, just... Yeah, but they needed a hard carry. Tiny's gonna come in that immediate response with the Timbersaw. Super strong against Tiny with the fact that his Q lowers 50 your stat by 15%, and Tiny being a strength hero, that means that if he gets hit by Timbersaw's Q, he is going to go down in even more HP than just from the nuke. Ten seconds to go. But however, it's kind of a double-edged sword, as Tiny can also become Five quite seconds. tanky and has some of the best stuns in the game and burst. And that's going to suck for these supports, Reserve because time. these supports, and even Gyrocopter, like, these will all get decimated, Ten except for go. Timbersaw by the tiny and even then Timbersaw might not be able to do his Spider-Man jump all over the place thing. We're gonna see a Weaver ban, another very Five annoying hero Texas just doesn't want to see. Although they did already have a hard carry but I guess, and an offlaner, maybe they thought w mid Weaver or mid Gyrocopter. So let's see the, uh, the ban from State College, what they decide to do. Ten yeah. seconds to go. Five seconds. As five seconds. Texas looks to be just only their mid left. I wonder who's gonna solo. Maybe a solo Marana. A tiny crystal maiden lane sounds like awful to be up against. And it's gonna be an alchemist ban. Probably Radiant thinking pit. like that's a tiny mid and they're gonna have a hard carry elk. But I know Texas. They like to run that tiny hard carry. Not so much Marana offlane, although Ghostman. I mean, not Ghostman. General Captain does do it from time to time. Ghostman will most likely be on the crystal maiden. And let's see the mid that Texas wants to pick up. They're gonna get the Kunker, the Cookie, the Evan Specialty. Nave gonna be on the Kunker. He is 
an amazing conquer, one of the best I have seen. It's pretty much once he's on conquer, he's a, it's just a guaranteed win. We will see if it actually ends up being like that in this game. As a lot of these... Actually, no. What am I even saying? Uh, this hero has to stand still to cast his stun. This hero is the only one who's really going to be able Damn to juke around to Kunkka. Go. Everyone else fairly slow moving. Not many, es not any Five escape seconds. abilities to be seen. He's, they're just going to get decimated by Torrent and X. It's going to be uh, going to be interesting to see this because Ev is really strong Kunkka. It's always nice to see him on Kunkka, and they don't ban it because they don't expect him to be. They don't expect a Kunkka pick very often. Not many teams expect Kunkka to be. Picked. It's just like he's really strong, and if you can uh, land those torrents, which Ev can, and also he wins mid, like pretty much guaranteed mid win. Let's see what State College is going for now. Now that with the almost out of reserve time, ten only ten seconds, seconds left, go. possibly discussing a strategy. They already have their hero chosen. Or are they going to go for a random? They're cutting this really close here. Oh, last second, out of nowhere, Pudge pick. I should have seen that one coming. Let's see, because Conker does really, really well against Pudge in the mid lane. Very difficult for Conker to die to Pudge. But at the same time, Texas has had troubles dealing with Pudge before, but then they've sometimes dominated. Pudge is kind of a double-edged sword in that way. Sometimes he's he controls the entire pace of the game, sometimes he does noth nothing. Yeah. Let's see then. Let's see what they decide to do. Pudge's not being picked, probably waiting on the timer to tick down, discussing some last second strategies. What they want to do. Maybe even arguing Damn about the picks. Alright. So on the Radiant side we're gonna have Ev as I predicted on the Conquer. Tom Petty, the hard carry player, Everybody on the Tiny, General it. Captain on the Marana. Wrong bips on the Chen and Ghostman on the Crystal Maiden, as I predicted all of these, but that's really not that impressive because I know these people and I know what they like to play. We're going to see Thicket on the Timbersaw. Agreed Axe on the Gyrocopter, probably going hard carry, I'd say. Super Gopher King on the Shadow Shaman, Scuzz, I mean Robotoss on the Pudge, and Woodrow Wilson on the Venomancer. They're all going to be heading down bottom. Looking to get those wards placed up. Maybe even looking to find an early kill, possibly on Tom Petty. And at, Tom Petty is going to be soloing up against what appears to be probably either a solo. It's probably going to be a solo Timbersaw, but even then, he shouldn't be. He should be in some danger in that lineup. They are, in fact, doing what all professional players do and going as five people toward and look for a kill on unsuspecting supports who might be warding in the jungle. And they know about this apparently. He knows. Oh, and they're all just they're just all walking. This could be really bad if wrong bips happens to get Maybe caught out here. Go. They're gonna block the camp. Is this a five man strategy? Oh geez, wrong bips. They're pinging out wrong bips. He should be fine Radiant though. He's on recognized side. this. Dire on the other. Pudge didn't level Hook first. Pudge could have saved his points and then leveled Hook. Instead, they're just gonna lose out on a bit of stuff. Is this like a, some quad lane strategy? What is going on? Looks like some interesting things are happening. In these lanes, they're looking. This is this. This is an aggressive tri lane. Okay, so they predicted the tiny being in the safe lane and so they're going to do an aggressive try lane to deal with it. Tiny, not really the best escaper of most hard carries. And they're going to rotate the CM that was once going to be top with the Marana into it, which they kind of have to do if they want him to get any farm. Ooh. I think we might see a first blood here any second now. Mid, they have both of these wards. This ward of course being really good for um, making sure that mid doesn't get pudge hooked. Uh, Taxos may be looking to go for an early gank with Chen. Uh, over here that is the Shadow Shaman. He has gone for Shackles first. Let's see if this tri lane ends up working out because they are going to have quite a bit of help. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
only managing to pull two creeps. We're gonna have quite a bit of help. Meanwhile, top, the solo Timbersaw getting harassed quite a bit. And yeah, this is an unfortunate thing. He's gonna cast his net. They're not really gonna be able to do much about this. The support's just romping up in to get this free XP and gold from the pool. Actually, like, the pool is benefiting now that it no longer matters which team gets the neutrals. When well, Ghostman's gonna get rocketed, let's see. No, they can't really do anything from that. Oh, but he's going aggressive. He's gonna get like ice. Oh, he's blocked! What a play by Rogue Pips, putting the skeleton, the spooky, scary skeleton, in there to block him. What a play! What a first blood! Holy cow! This one I'm talking about. This guy, beautiful gen player. Of course, we can't forget that. Agreed Axe was getting a bit aggressive there, going already behind the enemy tower. Just chilling right right here, and then against the Tiny and the Crystal Maiden, and then getting trapped going through here. That oh, was an amazing play though by Chen, he would have been able to just get away scot-free if it hadn't have been for that. No on mid lane, as I said, yeah, Ev's gonna be dominating the Pudge, in fact he might even be able to get a kill coming up soon. With a uh, the damage from that being almost enough to just straight up kill the Pudge plus a Tidebringer. Oh, Pudge is going to be salving up if he's going to go for a kill, now is the time. Oh, and he removes the salve. Meanwhile, I, I missed the, uh, I missed a kill on Tiny Bottom. Let's see where he was. Looks like he got just, ga yeah, he got galed, he got shackled. Not, not much he could really do about that. Uh, still... I think they've realized that they can just play it safe. Tiny can't farm at all, they don't need to give up any more kills. Venno's gonna check if the camp is pulled, and it is not. Oh, Ev. Cancelling that salve, which I missed a kill to, to watch him cancel it. Oh, he might be able to get a kill here. Is he gonna be able to? That's the question. No, it looks like Pudge is gonna be fine. It's just gonna bottle back up. But Ev is gonna get the haste rune. Oh, this could be bad for the Spudge. Only being on 200 and just straight up 200 HP, Ev could run right in and try to go for a kill here. Let's see, meanwhile, at top lane, t uh, Timbersaw and General Captain doing perfectly fine up against each other. Both seem to be trading fairly well. And let's actually check the farm. Let's see, tiny, not doing too well down. What? Ev at the top, and uh, Timbersaw are actually out CSing the Marana. Marana gets the kill though. Of course I look away from the lane for four seconds to just check what's going on with the uh, the Tiny and they just get a kill. And it looks like, oh, Ghostman might be in some danger, but they don't get in range for the Gale. So yeah, he should be fine. And Tiny will be content to just pick up this farm right here. Ghostman now getting the third... The first level in Arcane are going to be able to spam out those Radiant spells some more, help out the entire team as well. Pudge just getting completely decimated in this lane, sitting at level 5, Kunkka just hit level 6. Didn't actually level Boat, I don't know if this is an accident, but like, that's huge for the Kunkka. I mean, that's huge for the Pudge, because if Kunkka landed a torrent boat combo, that would be a guaranteed kill without even right-clicking. Oh, like that. That's what I'm talking about. If he had landed that, that would have been amazing. That would have done well, like, more than enough damage to kill. Which is unfortunate. Unfortunate he couldn't have known that. Oh, just Pudge just barely not going to get hit by that. Which is unfortunate for Ev. I, I keep gonna continue to call this guy F, by the way, it's just it's the name I know him. Why? Looks like the two supports go on once again to try and stop this pull. And they're gonna successfully, once again, actually only two creeps stop. Meanwhile, top, Timbersaw completely out of mana, both hitting level 6. Going for a max arrow build, which is kinda interesting. I mean, Sawstorm, of course, the more reliable damage source, but if you can land the arrow yeah, then mid -tower could use a little help. it's like the build ends up being worth it. Still, I prefer to see Max Starstorm build. Ooh, Ev's got an Invis rune. He's looking for a kill. 
he still doesn't have levels in his ghost ship, which is silly, I think. Because he could get an easy kill if he had levels in that. Pudge, wondering where he is, playing it safe because he he called missing. And Pudge going to look to Bottle Crow. I'm still just chilling in Invis, just waiting for that Pudge to show up. Can he see him now? I don't know. Oh, just gonna... Oh, oh, that's unfortunate for him. Not able to get the kill. Pudge sticking around on really low health, perhaps trying to bait Hunker into going on him. Only at 100, just one, one Tidebringer cleave and he could be done here. Yeah. Uh, not quite, but very close to. Very close to done, so. It's like the supports are checking. Oh, they're gonna block out this camp. I don't really know why, because those creeps aren't exactly useful unless you're planning to screw over mid, and the creep's already there. Oh, Pudge got another salve ferried out to him. He's gonna get back up to full health, or. No, he's only gonna get up to half. And once again, barely gonna have the torrent miss. Well, all the lanes just very peaceful. Very peaceful. Two supports still just chilling with this ward from the Radiant. Luckily enough to make sure that they don't get killed. Oh, it looks like Ev and Rongbips gonna go for that gank. But they're clearly wards. I don't know why they're sticking around here. Because... There were wards there, super obviously. That's going to be a double kill for them already. Maybe even a triple if Ev can get this torrent off. He's going to go for it. No. Yeah, that was like big misplays from the supports. They could see them walking past. I actually don't know where they smoked, maybe. They could have been smoked, but it didn't look like it when I looked over to where they were. Yeah, not just simply not seeing the two heroes red hanging over to gank. And that's going to cost them, as they're going to lose two of the granted supports, but still, that's uh, it's too, too many. Well, it looks like, meanwhile, General Captain's going to get ganked. He's already used his pounce, and he is going to get brought down. Quite unfortunate. Uh, looks like Venno knows. Playing a bit too aggressive there, I think. Rongbip's looking to go around, get a kill. I don't think he's going to be able to. Meanwhile, on mid, once again. Pudge is getting completely decimated by uh, Kunker, who I hope is now looking for levels in the boat. Oh, oh, this looks like a kill. Yep, and down goes Pudge. Unfortunate, just as Shadow Shaman was rotating into gank as well. Shadow Shaman is gonna get a salve. That's the gyrocopters. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Looking fortified. I see accidentally talking Jack up to Salve. He's just going to casually stroll on through, maybe looking to deny this. I don't know if it's in deny range yet. It should be. Yeah, it, it's in deny range. Not much Ev can do about this. He can't really get that. Lost it, and Tower is going to go down right after that attack. Yep, and it gets denied. Meanwhile, on bottom, though, looks like we might get a kill. He's going to try and pro play it. Oh! We are electric, ladies and gentlemen. General Captain able to snipe off the gyrocopter with Sacred Arrow. What a play. Sacred Arrow, max damage build, max build paying off. They know the Pudge is here, so they're just going to go ahead and invis. Ghostman barely going to dodge the hook, and looks like this should be a kill. Oh, arrow just off the mark. But it hits the, it hits the Venno. That's the Venno kill, if I've ever seen one. If they can get in range for him. Yep, and they're going to take out that Venno. Very good. Meanwhile, Shadow Shaman, a bit too late to the party, my friend. Pudge is going to walk back in. He's looking for a hook, I think. Who's he going to hook is the question. He could probably kill anyone with the amount of his, the number of teammates that are there. They're going to TP in four people down here. Oh, he's going to get stunned out. He did not prepare for this. They're going to start, they should just back off now because they're going to be perfectly fine here. Yeah, what a waste of Serpent Wards. Unfortunately, not being able to do anything with that. They're just going to chill there. I guess they can't really fight too far out of their tower. Pudge, though, looking Radiant's for the hook. Might be able to get it on the 
Oh, he's gonna utterly whiff it. Unfortunate. Oh, Kunker. Ev. Nave. Gonna TP in. And, yeah. There we go. Torrent, boat, kill. That's how we play that hero. Meanwhile, Tiny thinking about going in. Might actually die for the... Ooh, the savior hook. Ward's about to die. And the arrow, wow, this is the big plays. So many good arrows from General Captain in this game. Shadow Shaman barely escaping. They are just decimating right now. Let's see where the Timbersaur is. He's chilling it back in base. Yeah. Guess what's happening. Pudge still chilling. Maybe looking for a hook. I don't really think he could kill any of them. Uh, if he chose to hook. Ev should be able to just... Yep, and easy. I don't know what he was thinking. He TP'd in right onto a torrent and an arrow. You don't just TP in in plain sight of a Marana and a Kunker that thinks they will kill you. Ev already finishing up his Shadow Blade 12 minutes 30 seconds in. That is ridiculously good timing. Holy cow. Now, Marana's just gonna go back, General Captain. Of course. Gonna go back to top. And what an unfortunate exchange. Dyer. State College just throwing bodies at Radiant. And Taxos. Whatever. <laughs> and that's unfortunately gonna make sure that Taxos gets quite a substantial lead. Let's hope that they don't throw it away. I mean, they should be fine, because that is a mech finished up for the Chen. Yep, mech arcane boots, and already... Invisibility. Already on the way. Already done. Looks like he's going to get his Shadow Blade. Dyer's and his one. You know the drill. Going for a top tower kill, but in from behind comes an Invis Shadow Shaman. Can they make use of this? I actually think that they can. He's going to look to... Oh, he's going to get a ward trap. What a beautiful war trap, unfortunately. Tiny's gonna go down. Marana looking to go in. Decides better of it's just gonna Six get out of there. Roll. Meanwhile, Ev gets a kill. Do a sign on Pudge. Pudge, unfortunately, as I said, Pudge, a very hit or miss hero. Unfortunately, it's looking like this game Pudge is gonna be a miss. He just hasn't been able to make the hooks so far. Hasn't been able to make the difference needed for his team be able to do something in this game. They're just going to Shadow Blade up to the rune, and they're going to see him bottle it, so they know they know they got to be careful now. They're going to back out, it looks like, but he's just going to walk on at top. What's this? He's going to go... Oh, the creep wave, alright. Meanwhile, I bought uh, wrong bips just pushing, pushing on out. Uh, Taxos, the majority of Taxos, looking to get a top tower here, maybe even more. They're gonna TP in the Pudge. Who could again probably kill tower. someone if he can land the hook. They have three people there, all very good killers of the solo units. Pudge is gonna. They know Pudge is here. That's a very dead, sh dead Pudge. Yep, Pudge is gonna go down. Easy kills for Taxos, just predicting that that Pudge was going to be there and being able to handle it. Marana left out as she got structures for now. Radiant the thing uh, Rocket homing missile, whatever. And meanwhile, wrong bits. Best do something about just pushing out this tower, tower. and Radiant fights happening at top. We're going to get to catch the very end of that. Timbersaw going down. Ev wants to go further though. He wants to get that guy, and he, it looks like he very well will. Um, oh, ooh, lives with 63 HP. Chen, meanwhile, destroys bot. Oh, and Shadow Shaman appears to have wasted his wards. Chen just can't get the kill. Unfortunate for him. This is what I'm talking about. This guy is beast on Chen, able to get solo cowers, solo kills. I'm just gonna kill... <laughs> kill... Oh, it would be hilarious if Shadow Shaman had been sticking around. R.A.B. creep. The game. Uh, yep. Would have been hilarious if the Pudge had. I didn't think I finished up this. If the Pudge had hooked the Satyr, and then the Satyr had Kamehameha him. He's gonna hook the range creep. Kamehameha the Shadow Shaman and got the kill. 
Oh, gonna land a successful arrow on Pudge. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to follow that up. Pudge is still very low on stuff. Morana is gonna be very happy to get this regeneration, though. Instantly going all the way up to full health and mana. Like Tiny's gonna get hexed out. Oh, and that's oh, what a team fight! The damage Evan with the Shadow Blade attack just destroys. They're gonna take down the gyrocopter, and it looks like the <laughs> that was what I think he got tossed and then he left at the same time, and then the Venomancer got like teleported back, so he just ended up going nowhere. That's pretty good, but Timbersaw going to be the only one to survive from that. Unfortunately, the entire team goes down. What a sh team fight! Ev easily just clearing out everyone at the torrent boat. Then we got the Crystal Maiden ult on top of it, and the Shadow Blade hit, doing most of the work in that fight. In fact, the Shadow Blade bonus, uh, 150 damage, just decimating their team. I'll uh, looks like. Wrong bips gonna look to be taking the tower at top. And his team's gonna rotate up on up there. Just Taxos moving like a well oiled machine right here. Getting kill after kill, tower after tower, without any loss at all. He's gonna get TP back onto the torrent. They're gonna probably oh, Pudge gonna miss the hook. Oh, everyone getting low on HP. I think Ev has this though. He's gonna Look to boom! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What a player. And Ev already has a Crystallis, it turns out, so. The Decimating, and I'm thinking this is gonna be GGG. Soon, soon, I think. Sooner rather than later. Both have, like, the heroes that are known to be able to carry an entire late game with in the form of Tiny and Gyrocopter, so if this ends up going late, it's gonna be interesting to see. This could be big though. If Ev dies here, no he's gonna be fine. He's just gonna shadow blade on out. Cool. If Ed ha if Ev had died there, he would have fed so much gold as he is on a actually I can't tell what streak he is on. He is I can check no he is on a Beyond God like streak. He would have gave them like one thousand four hundred gold or something. It would have been easy money and possibly enough to put them back into the game from the position that they are currently in. Gyrocopter is just going to be trying to farm up. Going for that drums, just looking for something in this game which is not doing very well for him, very well for them at all. The only people having died being the Marana and the Tiny. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. And both only during the early game, they have not gotten any kills for quite a while. Fortunately, Torrent gonna be off the mark. Being police award here can easily see so Radiant's a really good ward. Bottom tower is gonna get denied by the tiny. It's a really good ward for like upcoming engagements, wanting to know where your teammates are. I'm gonna have to have to remember this one. Oh, and that's gonna be the torrent boat of the century. Ladies and gentlemen, Ev with a double kill, completely decimating them. And looks like there, they're gonna make it a full five wipe. The torrent boat destroying their entire team in just a simple attack and a simple cast. <laughs> uh, GG. G, G, indeed. Yeah, so, it was quite a good game. Very good performance from Taxos, just moving like all over the machine, just dominating all over the map. Not really giving up much, except during the early game on where it really didn't matter that much because they already were had quite a good substantial lead. That's a bit of all right. And yeah, so uh, that was good. Good game from them.